Welcome to my channel. I am Ben, the Business Analyst Expert. In this video, we're going to explore how to set up and use Conversation AI in Go High Level. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified on future videos. We'll walk you through the process of enabling this powerful feature for your SMS, social media platforms, and live chat activities, so you can streamline your customer interactions like never before. First, let's understand what Conversation AI is. It's an advanced tool designed to chat with your customers, gather information, and even book appointments on your behalf. Think of it as your virtual assistant that's always ready to help. With this tool, you can automate interactions across multiple platforms, saving time and improving efficiency. To get started, you'll need to activate Conversation AI in the settings. Head over to the Settings section in Go High Level and look for the Conversation AI tab. If it's not visible, you may need to create a bot first. When creating a bot, you have the flexibility to choose from different types. For this example, we'll set up an appointment booking bot. You'll give your bot a name, like Appointment Bot. And adjust its status. By default, the bot is off, but you can turn it on and choose between two modes, the Suggestive System and the Autopilot System. The Suggestive System helps by recommending responses while you interact with customers manually. On the other hand, the autopilot system allows the bot to reply automatically to incoming messages based on predefined rules and logic. For this demonstration, we'll focus on the autopilot mode. Next, you'll need to enable the channels where you want the bot to operate. This could include Instagram, Facebook, your live chat widget, or SMS. Once these channels are activated, any messages received through them will be handled by Conversation AI. To make the bot's responses feel more human, you can configure a delay before it replies. For instance, you can set a wait time of two minutes after a customer sends a message. This adds a natural touch to the interaction. Additionally, you can limit the number of messages the bot sends in a single conversation and define rules for when the bot should pause its activities, such as when you send a manual message or trigger a workflow. Once you've finalized these settings, don't forget to save your changes. You'll also have the option to set your bot as the primary one for specific tasks, ensuring it takes priority in your communication setup. Training the bot is an essential step. You can improve its functionality by linking it to your website. This allows the bot to pull data from your site, enabling it to provide accurate and contextual responses to customer inquiries. For instance, if your website includes pricing or service details, the bot will use that information to answer related questions. You can further customize the bot's responses by adding frequently asked questions and their answers. If your customers often ask about pricing, you can predefine the question and the corresponding answer, making the bot even more effective in handling common inquiries. Another key feature is defining the bot's personality and objectives. You can configure its tone and actions to align with your brand. For example, if the bot is focused on appointment booking, you can specify whether it should handle the entire process or just provide a booking link. You can also add additional data fields if required, making the interaction even more tailored to your needs. Once everything is set up, it's time to test your bot. Testing ensures that the bot works as expected before going live. This step is crucial to catch any issues and make adjustments. By following these steps, 
you'll have a fully functional conversation AI bot that can handle customer interactions seamlessly. Whether it's replying to messages, booking appointments, or addressing FAQs, this tool can revolutionize how you manage communications. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet, and don't forget to click the notification button. I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great day.